Hi everyone, my name is Diana Cortez. I'm 25 years old. Um, Miss Russell asked me to make a short video for Hispanic Heritage Month, so I'm just gonna try to, to keep it short. Um, but I work in Atlanta for a tech company called NCR. I'm a product specialist and consultant there. Um, we do the software and the hardware for ATMs, uh, point of sale systems, self checkouts. Um, so we're at Target, Walmart, Kroger, Chick Fil A, airports. You'll you'll see the logo. Um, I graduated high school from CHS, got an associate's degree in business administration from Georgia Highlands, and then I went on to get my bachelor's degree in business management from Kennesaw State University. Um, just a small tip, um, going to a community college before going to a four-year college saved me a lot of money. I graduated college with very little debt and um, that's just a piece of advice that I like to pass on to any students that I, that I come across um, because that that really helped me and, and I understand that that's not for, for everyone and a lot of people do want to go to a uh, four-year college right off the bat but that's something that really helped me um, financially. Um, but anyway, uh, my family is from Mexico my dad has been here or coming here and then going back to, to Mexico since he was 16 years old. And we moved here when I was five. So we've been here for, uh, as a family for nearly 20 years. Um, my parents decided to come to the United States because they knew that we would have a higher chance of succeeding here. And, and they were right. Um, because from a young age, I knew that getting an education was, was a way to better myself, to better the next generation, better my family. And um, and I was a first generation college student and that in itself brought a lot of pressure. Um, I didn't graduate college in the four years that you're supposed to, but that is because um, things happen, depression happens, um, life happens, and, and that's okay. Um, not everyone is in a timeline. You're not you're not rushing against anyone. Um, you should do everything when whenever you feel comfortable. And um, now I can proudly say that that I did it. And my sister also graduated college recently, and she's an amazing nurse. But just a little bit about um, my family, which is really a big part of of what motivates me. Um, my dad worked in Alaska and California doing very hard and manual labor since he was very young, um, since he was 16, basically. And um, he did those jobs until he was legally able to, to bring his family here. So that in itself and my parents' struggles um, when I was younger, uh, having to translate for them because of the language barrier, um, it was just it was very difficult. We had We had very little. And um, so that alone motivated me to to go to college and to to just better myself, make them proud, make myself proud, um, and also to be an example for for my siblings and for and for other Hispanic students that might have um, a, the same or very similar background. Um, but what I love about being Hispanic, I love the food, I love the culture, I love our music. I love the country itself. Uh, I feel an immense sense of pride about being Hispanic. Um, it's part of my identity that I embrace and I want to pass on to my children. And it's very likely that, you know, my children will be, will be born in the United States and, um, and I'm, perfectly, I'm perfectly okay with that. Um, I love this country because it's giving me given me and my family so much. Um, but I want them to know where, where their parents or grandparents came from. Um, so, uh, in general, we like to party. Uh, I don't know if I can speak for, for all Hispanics and, um, but we love to party. We love getting together, cooking, dancing, um, in Mexico, nearly every day is a party. Uh, that brings me to another point. I love visiting Mexico. When I was younger, uh, my family and I would try to go there for three weeks in December. Sorry to my teachers. I missed like a week of school during December, um, but uh, I wasn't lucky enough to grow up with 
my grandparents around me. So not so seeing them for Christmas was was very special and something that I, I really looked forward to. Um, so that's just a little bit about me. But finally, a little piece of advice. Um, know that you can do it. You can do anything. You can pass your next test. You can translate that hard document for your parents. You can you can get through school. You can you can graduate college if if that's what will make you feel successful because success is, is different for, for everyone. Um, but know that you can do it. I mean, never give up. And you know, you guys are, you're in middle school. You have so much time to decide what you want to do. Um, some of you might already know it because some people know it from a young age and sometimes it takes a little bit longer to figure that out. Um, but know that you can do it. Know your resources, talk to your teachers. Your counselors are there to help you. Um, and well, that's just, that's about it for me. But um, thank you for watching. Bye.